if you want to find out whether there are some really good options to make some lo-fi hip-hop beats with free plugins, this video is for you. Hi Plugin Generation, this is Mirko Russo from ClangLab.com. Lately I've been exploring uh, lo-fi hip-hop music and I got fascinated by what seems to me like a really relaxing, really silky sound. And now I'm experimenting with these harmonies and the production of lo-fi beats and maybe there will be space for some news about some release in the future. So I found out about a couple of fantastic tape saturation plugins that alone can be enough to build a really good lo-fi hip-hop sound. I have already made a video about the Cho tape model here and now let's explore the Cilium Audio Tape Cassette 2. So this one, as opposed to the uh, tape model, which gives you a lot of options, of possibilities, this one is really intuitive, really smart. There are not too many controls and this, is, this can be very important for some people because in the creative process you can find real quick the right setting for you and uh, not waste too much time. So I will use the tape cassette too just on the beat and let's uh, hear, let's listen to that without the tape cassette too. And now with So there is a couple of really cool uh, functions which are auto gain and over sampling. So the auto gain is uh, in this case engaged. After you have found the saturation setting, you have not to uh, rebalance the output here. So it is, it works really fine. You can hear it now. Maybe you might want to uh, bring it at zero and then engage the auto gain. Oversampling is the other function, really useful if you want a more analog sound. You can really hear the difference between 2 and 16, so this is 2. And this is 16. So of course, if you're using this plugin, you want a really uh, warm sound, but in this case, the openness of the oversampling makes something good to the sound, which brings it uh, really close to the analog sound. So you might wanna uh, use it to 16. Of course, it is heavier for the CPU. Anyway, if you can, use it. And uh, of course, you have saturation, here, so. Even if you push it really hard, the saturation is really nice, I must say. And uh, let's bring it here. The low pass is another uh, really important control for this sound because you might not usually uh, want to, to have it like this. But in my opinion, the, the beauty of lo-fi sound is to bring it really down, maybe to 7K, 8K, let's try it. Okay, 
okay so uh, all the harshness is gone and you can hear really a really extremely warm sound and you also have noise i i am not uh, really a fan of noise especially noise emulation <laughs> Maybe we can sneak the noise in this way. And wow and flutter, it depends on what you intend to do. The IR, the impulse response, is to emulate, to, to recreate the Type 1 cassette. So this is without. And this is with. It is a matter of taste. You can uh, you can recreate a, a really uh, warmer tone with the IR uh, engaged, or a little bit more openness and uh, clarity with the IR disengaged. So now let's try to use it on um, the keys. Let's just try. This is without. And with. Okay, so I mean, this is basically all you need to, to start with a lo-fi hip-hop sound or chill-hop, jet-hop. So in general, this kind of lo-fi sound, you can, uh, you can find the right setting uh, really quickly. A uh, few controls, it is free, so uh, go and download it and try it. Uh, you can donate uh, on the website of Silium Audio if you want to support them. So, but basically it is free and uh, they also have another version uh, more complex also with uh, a delay with different kinds of saturation so thank you for watching if you want to support my channel uh, hit the subscribe button the like button if you like this video in particular and don't forget to comment to share your opinion about this video and this plugin i also have a patreon page so if you want to support me even more you can follow the link down below and this is all for today so see you Thank <laughs> you.